In this video, we're gonna do a follow-up to a casting contest. This is our, our, our mulligan. This is a new paddle tail. It actually is designed with, uh, with, uh, with skin like a golf ball where it has the dimples, which should enable it to cast further. And we're just showing some, some examples of how much further this type of setup, this type of design can cast relative to other lures. And so we had multiple requests come in on the past ones against other lures to, to test it against. And this, this one came up the most. And I got multiple others and started weighing them. And the cool thing is that this, this, is, a, this is a Z-Man diesel minnow. They're both four inches. And the coolest thing is they both weigh the exact same amount. I put them both on the scale and they were exactly the same. And so this will be cool to test. I've, I've actually used these both before, so I do know which one will cast further. I just don't know by how much. And so what we have here is we have a perfect setup for a casting contest. I have one rod with the you know, same reel, same line. We're gonna use the one rod for both lures. And then we have this beach here where I'm gonna cast down the beach. The wind is just slightly going towards the water. So the, the line is gonna lay in the water to keep the line wet. And what we have are flags. We have a bunch of flags. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do five casts each. We're gonna pin the marks and we'll go analyze to see exactly how far they went. So we're gonna knock out the casting and we'll see you at the flags. All right, so we just completed the cast and we now have the flags on the beach. And so I walked this out and we're going over here. This, these are the first ones that we come to. These are the pink ones. And these are about just over 90 feet. They end up being like, like a 93 feet, again, just based on, on walking it off. And that was from the Z-Man one, the Minnow Z. And as I mentioned before, right, both these lures are great. So I'm not, I'm not trying to say that one lure is better than the other. This is really about, okay, how much does the actual design of the lure impact the casting distance? And, and per this test, we now can quantify it. And just to specify, I forgot to mention before, both of these lures were rigged on the exact same weighted hook, right? This is the Haas Helix hook. This is a three out hook with the one eighth ounce weight. This is awesome for fishing the shallows. I wanted to just use a lightweight hook so that we can measure the actual impact of the lure. Obviously, if you're using a heavier jig head, the, the actual shape and size of the lure doesn't really matter because you're really just casting the jig head. So this is really about, about how these lures cast relative to one another. So as we can see here, we have the flags, the pink flags. This is from the Z-Man. It was just over 90 feet. And then if we go on, you can see that, you know, it's casting from that direction. So they're all, you know, relatively close, right? So the, the wind wasn't a big factor, which is great. We have a crosswind. So it's more, the variability was more from right to left. And so now we can go from the, you know, from about the middle of the pinks, we can now do, you know, a couple three foot, three foot tests. And so now we have an extra, we'll, we'll call it 12 feet further that this mulligan went relative to the Z-Man. And again, that seems like a small deal, but when you, when you think about if you get an extra 12 feet of distance every single cast for 100 casts, right, you're gonna be casting an extra four football fields of distance. And that is actually the ideal strike zone because these fish in between this gap, right, the fish closest to us are gonna be the ones that are most likely gonna be spooked. They can feel our presence, but the, the further out we can go, the more likely those fish actually can't feel us. And that's gonna be an extra four football fields of water coverage that you're gonna have simply by going from one lure design to the other. And there's really not much else we can do in fishing to guarantee that we're gonna be catching more fish per hour of fishing. All right, so the overall conclusion here is just to, to make sure to think about exactly what your lure you're using for a specific condition to make sure that you maximize results. So if you're fishing shallow waters and you wanna just cover as much area as possible, as quickly as possible, this is obviously the way to go. This is the Slam Shady Mulligan. It's a great lure. It can be rigged on these weighted hooks, has great action in the water. And the extra distance is why I've been actually fishing with this more than anything else. And in the other contest we did, we did a three inch versus the Mulligan, which is four inch versus the five inch paddle tail. And this was casting almost as far as the five inch. Obviously it was casting way further than the three inch. But I'm not saying that these Z-Man lures are bad. We, we still love these lures. These are our Slam Shady. This is our, our proprietary color uh, from Z-Man. We've teamed up with them. They're an awesome company. These lures excel when you're fishing areas where you need durability. This plastic is called Elastec, super durable. And so even though I don't use these quite as often anymore, I still have them in my tackle bag on pretty much every trip. Because if I'm fishing areas that have fish with sharp teeth, like, like mackerel, or even, even puffer fish. This elastic material can help make sure that you just don't go through a ton of baits. This is awesome, it has great great action in the water. And again, as you're using heavier jig heads, I don't use this for the, for the super shallow water like, like with this type of rig, but on a jig head, especially the higher weighted ones, now the, the distance, the casting distance isn't quite 
as extreme. And that's when, again, these lures can, uh, can be awesome as well. So if you want to try any of these lures, they're all at fishstrong.com. And inside our club members, you can get them all at 20% savings. Again, both are awesome options. I believe both are, are just essential for any saltwater fisherman's tackle bag. They're awesome. And if you buy either one, you'll get lessons on exactly how to rig them, how to retrieve them, just maximize results out there on the water. And if you have any questions at all about this experiment, or if you'd like to see some other lures tested against one another, please use the comment section down below. I'd love to hear from you. And really just use the comments to come up with, with ideas for future experiments. These are fun to do. One big push we're gonna do this year is to have a lot more experiments. And so we'd love to have your feedback on which ones we should conduct. So thank you again for your time and watching. Any questions at all, comment down below. Otherwise, hope to see you again soon.